in my opinion if you don't understand networking you're not going to make it so i'm going to explain networking on aws for you so we have a vpc which is our network what we'll do we'll put in a public subnet in here and we're going to put in a private subnet here green for public and blue for private and the network's going to have an ip range and you're going to split that out into those two subnets so they have their own separate subnet range and what you probably have is an ec2 in your private subnet you don't want to have your ec2 instance public facing otherwise it could be attacked so how does this ec2 in a private subnet get access out to the internet so that is where you bring in a nat gateway and that gateway allows allows your private subnets to be able to reach the public internet whilst remaining private. But we don't actually have internet access anywhere at the moment. So what you do is you attach an internet gateway to your VPC. And now your AWS network has access to the internet. Then what you might want to do is scale that application. And to make that application more highly available, you split it across two separate availability zones. Let's just put a line down here and say that this is AZ1, this is AZ2. Now for whatever instance, this availability zone is wiped out by AWS, you can still have it up and running on the other side. But what you will have in front of that is a load balancer, which is splitting the inbound traffic between each side of those availability zones for your end users to reach an available machine.